Illustrator has some really powerful ways to transform artwork freely. And in this video, you'll explore the Puppet Warp tool, as well as the free transform tool to finish artwork for the postcard you see here. With the latest version of Illustrator CC open, you can open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial if you want to follow along. Then, so you can see everything, choose View, Fit All in Window. With the selection tool selected, click the orange scarf she's wearing on the left artboard here. Then to zoom in, press Command and Plus on Mac OS or Control and Plus on Windows a few times. Now, since she's riding into the wind, it might look better if the scarf was actually flowing. Essentially, it had some movement to it. To do that, you can twist and distort artwork using the Puppet Warp tool. So select the Puppet Warp tool in the Tools panel and click OK if you see this little pop-up. To distort this scarf, you'll add pins to it, essentially places that you can move, rotate, or pin in place to keep it still. So click to add at least three pins by clicking the areas you want to transform and the areas you want to keep in place. Usually three or more pins are required for good results. So with the pins in place, you can turn off this mesh you see to make it easier to focus on the artwork. Over in the Properties panel, deselect this mesh option. Click on one of the pins, and you can tell it's selected because it's filled, and drag that pin to see the effect on the scarf. The other pins right now are actually keeping the artwork in place. Click this pin to select it. Now you'll rotate the pin so you can see the effect on the artwork. Move the pointer over this dashed circle, and when you see a rotate arrow, go ahead and drag. Try moving and rotating a few of these pins. You can even select the pin and press backspace or delete to remove it. Or you can select multiple pins by pressing the shift key and clicking on them. All right, that looks pretty good. So to move to the next artboard, choose two from the artboard menu down here. To finish the design for this side of the postcard, you'll make this rectangle and this dashed line into a road that vanishes in perspective using the free transform tool. So select the selection tool and click to select this rectangle. Press on the Puppet Warp tool in the Tools panel and select the Free Transform tool. After selecting the tool, the Free Transform widget should be showing. You can actually control how the tool works from here. The Free Transform option, which is selected by default, is used to rotate, scale, shear, and just do a whole bunch of transformations. Select the Perspective Distort option. You can now distort the artwork in perspective. So move the pointer over the upper left corner and drag to the right. Now don't drag too far, then release. Now to shear the road so it goes off at an angle to the right, select the free transform option in the widget, move the pointer over the top point, and when you see this icon, drag to the right and try to snap it to the bottom of the buildings. To select the selection tool, press the letter V, then click to select this dashed white line. For a little practice, you can transform this line too to match the road. Now you may want to zoom in a little bit by selecting the zoom tool and dragging across the top of the artwork here. Then select the free transform tool again and select the perspective distort option in the widget. Move the pointer over the upper left corner and drag to the right, not too far, then release. To shear the artwork so it goes to the right, select the free transform option in the widget. To zoom out to see the road again, Press Command and Minus on Mac or Control and Minus on Windows a few times. And so the white lines won't snap to the road, choose View, Smart Guides to turn them off. Move the pointer over the top point, and when you see this icon, drag to the right and try and get it in the middle of the road. To deselect everything, choose Select, Deselect. Then to see everything, choose View, Fit All in Window. Transforming artwork using these tools, the Puppet Warp and the Free Transform tools, among a host of others, is a really easy way to do some pretty amazing transformations. You can close the open file by choosing File, Close, and save it if you like. 